Hello and welcome back to episode 34 of our Let's Play on Elm Creek. As you can see, we're starting on the hoof today simply because we've got an absolute shed ton of work to get through. We won't get through all of it today, um, but there's so much to do, and I think which is it shows basically how the farm's grown especially in the last sort of few episodes um, you can see that we've got in fact before we come into that this is now the third attempt to post com this it's actually the fourth attempt to get the video out overall so on the first one I thought and it still might have been the mic was on mute so I went through the full episode 26 minutes worth um, probably more after editing, to be honest, um, on mute. Before we come back to this, basically, I'm showing you the potato field. We've got, um, it's not ours, it's a contract. I just want to see what the crack was after the update. We'll talk about that more as this video progresses. This one was just that cultivating contract. Um, we stood to make 3,200. Once you took worker fees off, we won't have made anything. But it was only to turn the field around, really. Um, it wasn't about making profit and as you can see there's nothing else sort of that we're interested in on there the potato field will just keep coming back to throughout um, nothing to use machinery mods although that 6m would have been lovely it's not something we, re we really need right now so yeah first chance of doing this the mic, I think, might have been on mute all the way through. Um, I mic the mute. I mic the mute. <laughs> My god, I'm not doing a fifth attempt. I mute the mic when I'm doing things like, well, Oop Belleron spends the whole time on mute because I record. I'm just about, you'll see that I jump back over to the John Deere here soon. Um, Yeah, when I'm on things like Oop Belleron, I uh, everything's on mute when I record. Um, I'll listen to music, listen to podcasts, whatever. And then I post comp everything. So everything on Oop Belleron is post comp. I just find it a lot easier because Speed Let's Play, we literally do hours worth of recording for one episode. Um, and then chop it down hopefully into 10 minute episodes which is what we want um, all I'm doing here is getting the John Deere getting the subsoiler on it and we'll uh, we'll get underway with that I'll talk about works in a bit because of how many times I've tried to record this trying to get things in order again is just unbelievable because I've gone through this three times already so uh, yeah Ubelaram mic's always muted always post come after um, and even sometimes on Elm Creek if I'm doing quite a long contract or um Or, I don't know, or keeping the horses fit, something like that. It'll also be muted. Um, and obviously, I've done one of them, and I just haven't unmuted the mic. So, today, I've went back on to um, to postcom it. I mean, just sort of half an hour ago, went back on to postcom. And did the whole episode, all 26 minutes never shut up all the way through it and um, yep, the mic wasn't muted but the mic wasn't plugged in <laughs> to the headset so although it seemed like it was plugged in it wasn't actually connected so I went back to edit no sound again. 
Third time went on. Load of background noise. Absolute worst time. And now I'm here. So yeah, that's where we are basically. That is why if I sound like I'm rambling like an absolute madman, it's because I am rambling like an absolute madman. And I'm sick of the sight of this episode. <laughs> Even though we get a lot done. So, where are we at? Going back to... We'll go back to the workers, we'll talk about the workers. I've said the John Deere way. You'll see that as we... As we're working in this field. Um, basically, where are we at now? On the farm, because the farm's... Growing. And I want to progress. We need to use workers. Um, not all the time, but certainly when it comes to things like just subsoil in there. Um, quite a long and monotonous job, and quite an easy one for a worker as well. It's a square field, pretty much, other than one car, uh, corner of it. I've took sort of a headland off the top. So it shouldn't be overly difficult, i.e. we shouldn't do what the terror track did in Ubelaron and just drive into the river. Thankfully there's no river there, it's just a stream, but you get me drift. Um and yet we need to use them basically, otherwise we'll be on for ages. Um I can't remember if in the update so we're two days into the update basically when I'm doing this um, I haven't been through the update properly only because I was unavailable on the day the update came out which actually meant I was getting drunk in York <laughs> so I haven't been able to go through it and I need to because there's there's certain bits that I know about so I know about a lot of the equipment that's come out um, I know about the odd little thing that's happened as in um, the way the pallets have changed and stuff like that only by playing it what I don't know or what I didn't know although I do now I didn't know that for example, the potato harvest would now work, which they do. But I only know that because of testing it. Um, and it's still going now, but at the beginning of the next episode, you'll see that we make sort of a decent-ish profit. I say a decent-ish profit from what we've had to put into it. Any profit's good profit from it, really. Because all we've done is let it away on a worker, just to see if it would work. But yeah, beginning of... Um, beginning of um, episode 35 we'll have a, a very short time lapse of uh, us making that profit on um, on the potatoes and it's only a small potato field as well to be fair um, so yeah I know that works the other thing that I know doesn't work or hasn't been changed is the cereal crop glitch for contracts so I've spent the majority of today on Ubelaram and I did a couple of contracts um, mostly barley contracts and it was just exactly the same getting up to 90% and that's it saying I'd only transported maybe 18% of the crop when all of it had gone so seeing as that that episode is so reliant on contracts I mean I've just done episode 16 on there and we are so far we've probably overtook this episode in progression in fact we definitely have without a doubt um, I've got the bakery up and running I'm producing bread I'm producing quite a lot of bread as well um, 
we stand in at at the minute we've got something like 330,000 uh, euros uh, with some pretty decent sized fields now as well and obviously two factories the grain mill and the, the bakery decent sized machinery we just we're doing well on that episode but the majority of that is centered around contracts obviously we make the money we're in seasons but we make the money from our own farm but the vast majority of that comes from contracts because that's what we do we hammer them speed let's play episodes only 10 minutes long and 10 minutes incorporates a full in game day uh, well majority of episodes are only 10 minutes long some of them are a little bit longer so yeah we've absolutely blitzed through that um, so I thought a way around it was collect everything up oh this is what I've done I've done it a couple of times but I don't think I'm going to do it anymore and I'll tell you why so I'll do the full contract so see if this was the field full of barley um, do all the harvesting but I wouldn't take it to the place where I'd be selling it unless that was the the train station where you can store it so I'd either store it at um, my silo or store it at the train station once we've done the full field and it always goes to 84% doesn't it once you've um, once you've done the harvesting we would then safe in the knowledge that all our crop is in a silo we would then fail the contract for failing the contact, contract at that stage you would have to pay a fine essentially wouldn't you for the missing crop and sometimes that was quite a lot like one of the ones I paid was 56 grand I had to pay in charges for missing crop which is fair enough and this was only done the first time it was only done as sort of a bit of an experiment as well so pay the fine that contract's gone now but I've still got all this crop left that we've just harvested and when I was doing it it was working out that I was making a profit by selling the barley after after I pay the fine so pay the fine 56 grand sir. sell the crop maybe for 64 as an example so I didn't make anything off the contract but I made about eight grand more from the selling of the barley than what I did from the fine. So essentially, I made the money back for what I would have got from the contract, but no extra. So I thought that was quite a fair way around it. And I still do in a sense. That is quite a fair way around it. Um, not really getting much from it. I'm doing all the work. And I'm getting paid what would get paid for the contract pretty much so I thought win-win we'll do that what I hadn't banked on and this is the reason why I probably won't do it anymore the thing I hadn't banked on was the field after you fail the contract the field resets so essentially this field as soon as I fail it would instantly grow again and be back to been uh, um, I jump forward here by the way uh, very shortly I'll go right to the end of the um, the baling so yeah the field would grow back instantly and be ready to go again which I think I think is cheating the system sort of thing um, when I first started playing FS19 I would field flip constantly and I remember being on Ravenport and making upwards of six million dollars a day just by field fl flipping so just doing everything in that one day and then doing all the contracts after it and it was basically the harvest days you were making up to six million dollars which was just ridiculous um, obviously completely unreal and it's not the way I like to play I'm not saying it's a bad way of playing it's quite a good way because you're constantly grafting you're just working all the time um, and it gets you sort of into the swing of the mechanics and of the game etc um, and also especially when you're first starting out you want to 
you want to be using the biggest, best machinery, don't you? And by making that much money per day, you're able to do that. Um, which isn't me focus now. Anyone who's watched sort of Jack Pine, the survival let's play, um, or the role play series, the My Farm and Life role play, you'll know that. I tend to prefer the smaller equipment. I just think it's I just get more enjoyment out of doing that. Um, so yeah, that way of sort of faking the contract, I don't think we're going to carry on doing. I'm certainly not going to do it in this series. Um, not on purpose anyway. Whether it happens by accident, just because I get forced into into that sort of space then that might happen but you'll see we've changed all the into the uh, grave vines we're just doing a bit of mulching at the minute um, I go back down on here because there was bits missing either side I quickly sack that off and think I'm not doing that for each one and I haven't done that for each one the other two times that I've grown the grapes. So yeah, from now, it's just one run up, one run down, and that's it. So, back to the the straw bales. Um, we ended up with 28 straw bales. Of which we sell them all. We don't need to keep any we've got an absolute ton of conventional bales still in that uh, that barn over there on the left hand side so no need to keep them bales, they'll all be getting sold the issue with that at the minute is the price is absolutely tanked so I mean obviously I've already spoke about episode 35 that's because it's recorded now um, it's only because of the issues I'm having with this that I'm able to sort of talk about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, the price is tanked on straw. And I've got a full field of 28 bales sat there that I don't particularly want to sell. Um, not while the price is so low. I worked out that um, at the price it was when I first started doing it, which was around... $80 a litre, uh, per thousand litres I was going to get just over 11 grand for selling them all minus the 2400 fee I stood to make just under um, 9 grand I was stood to make and just pure profit which I didn't think was bad the price is like below 60 now So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to think that at 60, let's have a look. What would at 60 get us? Just, uh, so we, on 60 we lose 3 grand. I don't want to be doing that. That gives us a profit of six. And where are we at now? Especially with the half million dollar loan. Like, we can't be taking hits like that, can we? We need to maximise um, the amount of money that we're making. I don't know, we'll have, to, we'll have to see. I mean, you'll see. Once it gets to uh, episode 35, you'll see. The... Obviously, we're doing the bulging now. It's absolutely imperative we keep this uh, cereal factory going. That's where we're going to make our money. That's where we're going to get back into the green, essentially. Um, so I mean, at the at, at the end of this episode, you'll see that we try to address the issue with the honey, 
because unbelievably that is the thing that's slowing us down considering the amount that we had at one point where the full right hand side of that barn over there was just packed with honey and then we went and sold it all didn't we and we never even got that much for it to be honest um, I have no reason now to ever sell it on its own again I mean, I'm sure on other series, say if we weren't doing a cereal factory, on other series you could just let that sort of tick away and sell as you need to and you will make money off it one year but I mean the profit wasn't wasn't great was it? I can't even remember what it was but I'm, I just remember selling it all and thinking it should have been a lot more than that. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go into we basically miss out most of the rows on here. The commentary sh should be working once we change over. So once it goes on to the other bit, that'll be original commentary. Right, last two to do. And then that's a sorted for, well, a month until it needs ploughing. I can't remember if we can plough mid-month. I know it still needs an application of fertiliser on, which will get sorted. And you'll see as well, just in that strip of odds, there's a bit that just hasn't been done. Um, I have no idea. A worker done that. I have no idea why it's missed that little bit there. Right, so that's the mulching done. get this dropped off and I think I don't know how we're doing for time on on here right let's have a look not that one another one of these done I don't just need one of the smaller ones again I'd quite like this in the middle just so we can get that yield bonus which I don't I don't think it's overly high but Could have a face in that way, couldn't we? Right, we'll get it there. And only one per farm. Well, hopefully, that'll generate for both. 
otherwise that's going to be a bit of a waste. Right, we'll have to see how quickly that starts generating it. Go over here, see if it tells us. These bills are going to be next episode now. Right, range 150. have two fully functioning beehives I'm not convinced right we're going to leave it there so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one